Before we start our late week analysis, guys, it's really important to remind you that today will actually be good for trading. However, tomorrow Friday will be, of course, a different story because we will be having the non-farm payroll and the unemployment rate for both the uh, USD and the CAD pairs. Well, let me just now highlight that this analysis is valid only through today, Thursday, until tomorrow Friday afternoon. Uh, this analysis is, is valid only until 1.30 p.m. GMT time. Uh, until this news come out and of course after that we cannot depend on this analysis we have to consider that this news might actually change the entire direction of the market especially knowing that it is actually the beginning of the year so again guys please be careful and don't trade during this news um, another thing I wanted to highlight guys is actually the comments on the last video uh, those who have typed I listened I mean it was really overwhelming I mean look at that I want to show you guys this this is what I'm showing you here from my dashboard on YouTube uh, let me just show you guys these are my uh, viewing rates as you can see the view rates is not high however look at the comments um, we got about 70 comments on the last video because I asked uh, those who are watching my video to say I listened and actually I to be honest with you I was expecting only two maximum maybe five people to say I listened but I was really amazed to see at least 70 people commenting look at the comment rate guys I mean let's check my videos in the last uh, at least maybe um, three weeks as we can see the comments are very poor uh, barely ranging they are varying between two comments to maybe eight in average as you can see barely any comments but when i asked you to comment look at that i mean that was really overwhelming and i want to thank everyone here uh for listening and watching my videos uh again guys this was really a good feeling and i felt like really the channel is growing and bigger than what i thought so i think the channel is not that as i thought but of course uh, i'm happy with my views rates right now <laughs> i'm just uh, grateful for everyone who is watching and listening to me anyway my friends let's now begin our late week analysis and let's now begin with the euro usd so right now for the spare, as we can see, if we look right now at the daily chart, the euro USD has indeed reversed exactly from our take profit level. But of course, this signal hasn't been activated. The market just skipped falling down. I think it actually has um, um, just broke out from this level of a support and from this level of a support as well at, uh, let me just be sure, at 1.09352. Now what's happening here is that the sorry the euro USD is indeed making a reversal right now, but the target or the final target most likely will be this level of a support right here. As we can see right here, let me just show it to you. This level of a support, right there exactly to be precise, uh, at 1.08495. Let me just delete uh, everything here so it will not confuse us. So. The euro USD will most likely gonna continue the fall till it reaches this level of a support. If I'm not mistaken, this is Fibonacci 61.8, little bit lower, yes. However, um, look at that. This was of course the strongest real level of a support as well. So after making a, a continuation of uh, a continu sorry a continuous uh, bearish breakout from this level of a resistance and a support as well, it seems to me like for the rest of the week the euro USD will continue the fall at least to reach this level of a support. So. We have already determined our take profit level. Now, where exactly can we continue shorting the euro USD from? The answer, in my opinion, lies exactly on this level of resistance at 1.09533. As we can see, this was, of course, the nearest real level of resistance to that bearish breakout candle. However, we are still on the daily chart. Let me just move now to the four hour time frame. Right here, exactly. Check this out. So, we already have right here attempt of a resistance, as we can see. This right here, of course, is a resistance number one. So now there is a possibility that the market will continue the rise till it reach the same level to create, of course, this second attempt of a resistance. Afterwards, the euro USD most likely will continue the fall. Now we need, of course, another kind of confirmation on this. And in my opinion, the confirmation will be, of course, again with the resistance trend line. Check this out. So right here, of course, we are having the highest level of uh, the higher high uh the resistance trend line then here uh, we are having the lower high and then a fake breakout now if the euro used will continue the rise most likely this level of a resistance trend line also will be respected considering also that on the left we had right here a strong uh, zone of a resistance as well so therefore guys i would recommend to sell the euro usd exactly from 1.09539 uh, 
targeting of course the level of a previous support at 1.08495 aiming at least 106 pips profit from the signal and the safe zone that shouldn't be ranging higher than the previous level of a key resistance at 1.1003 ranging for about 46 pips let's now move to the pound usd all right so unfortunately the pound usd guys signal is not working well however we have to adjust this signal right now because i believe that the pound usd has indeed reversed from let me just delete first all the old signal um the pound usd seems like it has already reversed from this level of a support right here at 1.26158 however this reversal in my opinion won't last long because if we look right now at the daily chart we do have right here of course a strong uh, bearish engulfing candle but however now this current candle right here is not promising for a bullish reversal at all it most likely seems like the market will continue the fall i mean all the signs says that i mean if we check even the trend lines as we can see um as we can see right here if we apply this resistance trend line we are having here a, a potential point of a bearish reversal because this level of a resistance trend line has indeed been respected repeatedly then we had right here one final fake breakout from that level the market has actually failed to create a new support trend line and just continuously broke out from that level so now uh, there is a possibility that the market will be respecting that level of a resistance trend line also highlighting that based on the four hour time frame this right here was of course the nearest level of a previous support as we can see so i think we have to adjust now our entry um of course we can add to this that we are having here let me just show it to you a resistance trend line if we check it like that and then if we drag the same line that we have just drawn here and just place it right here all the way to the nearest level of a key resistance trend line of course what i have done here uh, can be learned from a video on my channel called the magic of trend lines part one and part two so what i did right here simply guys uh, is cloning the same resistance trend line and place it right here at the nearest resist uh, sorry a key resistance trend line as we can see the same level of resistance trend line has become already a support trend line number one number two and finally the bearish breakout from that level so therefore considering that first of all we are having this uh, resistance trend line plus the previous level of a broken key support plus the previous level of a nearest resistance to that bearish breakout candle all of them together t says that selling the pound usd at 1.27005 will be actually a greater idea so waiting for the pound usd to rise to another 32 pips i think that's gonna be a better entry however take profit this time will be actually right here at the reversal point at 1.260.83 aiming at least 91 pips profit from this signal and the safe zone that shouldn't be ranging higher than the previous level of a resistance at 1.27446, ranging for about 44 pips. Moving now to the AUD USD. Guys, I will move faster now. Hopefully, I will finish this video within at least uh, 10 minutes because actually I have got to go. Uh, AUD USD, guys, was also a good signal but hasn't been activated. But as you can see, it has reversed indeed from the take profit level. So, what's next with this pair? Let me just now delete the old signal and let's now track it together. Now, based on the daily chart, um, this pattern right here is really good for a continuation in the bearish fall and most likely also the AUDUSD will continue the fall till it reach the lowest level of a nearest support, as we can see, sorry, a previous resistance right here exactly at 0 0.6651. So, the market most likely will continue the fall to another 68 pips to retest that level also considering that if we look right here at the bigger time frame or actually daily chart but from zooming out of course we are having here of course a broken level of a resistance trend line check this out so we have here attempt number one two three and finally four so four attempts of that resistance trend line have been respected and then the AUD USD made here a bullish breakout from it now it has reversed from this level of a resistance and now it's on, it's on its journey to retest the broken level of a previous resistance trend line to create of course a new support trend line so most likely after that it will continue the rise however for the meantime we have to consider continuation in selling this pair so again our target will be at least this level of a previous resistance but however where exactly we can continue selling this pair the answer again lies with the resistance trend lines so what i will do is simply connect this level of a resistance trend line and check this out uh let me just connect it actually to the nearest resistance trend line let me just show it to you based on the daily chart this was here the resistance trend line and there these two candles 
are representing also the resistance trend line. So therefore, most likely the AUD USD will reverse exactly at that level. So uh, moving now to the four hour time frame, we can find it clearly right here that the market has also been creating a previous level of a resistance exactly. Let, let me just be precise exactly right there. This is a previous level of a support and this is a previous level of a resistance number one, even based on the one hour time frame. So selling the AUD UST exactly at 0 0.67586 uh, is going to be, in my opinion, a better idea. And the safe zone will be actually ranging till the till the previous level of a resistance right here. And um, it will be ranging for 42 pips against 95, 94 pips of profit. Moving now to the UST CAD. All right, so USD CAD is also going in the right direction, but of course hasn't been activated. I will make it very short and quick. Uh, let, me, let me just delete the old signal and let me just highlight to you that the most likely we can continue buying the USD CAD exactly from this level of a previous key resistance at 1.3156. Uh, also, guys, if we look right here at the daily chart, this was, of course, a very strong key level of a support that cannot just be simply ignored. Um, if we want another kind of confirmation also, of course, we can apply the Fibonacci retracement and check this out. So right here, the market now is reversing indeed at 38.2. However, our take profit level will be exactly at Fibonacci 50 till the market reach the previous level of a key support to retest that area. And again, um, we will be buying the USD CAD exactly from this level of a previous support. But of course, there is a potential uh, drawdown till the market reach 23.6. And after that, it will continue the rise. Um, that will not be much pips I, th pips, pips, I think it's just only 22 pips, I think, or 25 maximum. However, we will be targeting at least 93 pips profit from the signal and the safe zone that shouldn't be ranging much lower than the previous level of uh, resistance right here and right here and also between uh, actually uh, 23.6 will be in the middle. So therefore, the safe zone ranging for about 50 pips against 97 pips of profit. Moving now to the USCCHF. All right, so USCCHF, guys, um, I think we can keep the same signal because uh, the signal has reversed just like uh, 25 pips far away from the entry. Um, there is a possibility that the market actually might continue the fall till it reach our uh, buy level because we are still rely relying actually on this level of a previous resistance. And if we look at the left side, I think there is a strong key support. Let me just, let, let me just take a look. Almost right there almost at it yes so uh, by zooming in again i would say that uh, the uccchf is, is still remain the same uh, even if we apply here the support trend line i think yes it's still valid yes it's still valid USDCHF guys is still valid there is a, pot a possibility that the market right now upon the pressure from the current resistance right here exactly at 0 0.85022 might actually fall here so i know it's gonna be taking a while but we have to wait for the USDCHF to fall to another uh 50 pips before we can continue buying it i think it's gonna be a good deal so USDCHF guys just remains the same let's now move to the nzd usd NZD USD guys has, in my opinion, been a good signal. I mean, um, it hasn't been activated, but at least went in the right direction. Now, what's next with the NZD USD? Well, we will just also keep selling it, but of course, we have to change now the entry point. Now, let me just highlight that our target hasn't changed. Our target is still aiming 0 0.61771. This is, of course, a strongest key support level, and the NZD USD still has about 62 pips more to go. Now, where exactly we can continue selling this pair? Well, again, the answer will be uh, lying on the resistance trend lines. Check this out. So right here, exactly. We have uh, drawn here this resistance trend line from this higher high. And as we can see, it goes through these levels. Now, the same level has already become a support trend line. It became here a resistance trend line and again, another resistance trend line. So now let's keep in mind that the NZD USD is actually facing right now a, a, a support zone. So now there is a possibility of a pullback. If that happens, we can sell the NZD USD exactly right here at the same level of a previous resistance as well, because right here is resistance number one. And let's sell the NZD USD right here on the second attempt of the resistance. So waiting for this pair to rise to another 29 pips, then aiming at least 92 pips profit from the signal and the safe zone that shouldn't be ranging higher than the previous level of a resistance right here at 0.63096, uh, ranging for about, I would say, roughly 40 pips against 92 pips of profit. 
Let's now move finally to the gold. All right, so gold, guys, was really one perfect signal. I think it has been uh, activated already and it has went uh, all the way to the take profit level, making more than 260 pips of profit. Congratulations for those who have taken this signal from the weekly analysis. And again, please don't forget to hit the like button, guys, and subscribe to the channel. Now, let me just highlight something, guys, that the gold is indeed facing right now a previous level of a key resistance right here. But it's also important to highlight that the gold has already retested that level of a resistance with that wick right here. So meaning right now the gold is actually rising and after seeing this price action right here, it seems to me like the gold will continue the rise for a moment, but of course eventually will continue the fall also. Let me just highlight something here guys, that based on this level of a previous support trend line, check this out. So right here, we're having a real level of support trend line, check this out. Right here exactly, a real level of support trend line faced a fake breakout from that area. The gold has actually failed to create a resistance trend line right here. And instead, it just kept respecting the same level of those uh, uh, support trend lines. Again, number one, two, three, four, and finally here a bearish breakout from that level. Now considering that we're actually facing right here a previous level of a key resistance exactly right there, um, uh, 2052.15, there is a potential reversal right here. We can actually consider that the gold might actually be good to be sold exactly after rising to another 95 pips on the same level of a support trend line. Let me just highlight here to make it more accurate, exactly just like that. So now our entry is going to be actually more valid. Let me just also delete the old signal to not confuse you guys um yes yes all right so selling the gold exactly at the highest level of a real resistance right here at 2052.15 is going to be actually in my opinion a good idea hoping from this level of, of a previous support trend line to become of course a new resistance trend line however targeting of course right now since we are talking about uh late week analysis we cannot make a, a bigger take profit than that let's just aim here the lowest level of the actual reversal at the support at 2030.38 expecting at least 220 pips profit from the signal and the safe zone that shouldn't also be ranging higher than the previous level of a nearest resistance at 2066.31 ranging for about 100 and let's say 140 pips only and there goes your uh, signals my friends for the rest of the week again guys i want hi to highlight also that our vip group so far this week uh, for the beginning of this year is doing actually well uh, of course we are doing better than december i'm totally aware guys that the rest of december um I mean, late December, we did not really have a good results, but I think this applies on all signals providers. However, January is a completely different story. This week so far, we have made around 200 pips with our signals in total. And again, uh, I'm happy with this results. And I think um, the signals will be good again, hopefully uh, with the beginning of the year of 2024. So until then, guys, I wish everyone a, a safe trading. And in the end, I hope that was informative to you. And I would like to thank you for watching.